Subtle induction. Is P of n really greater than or equal to n cubed? Let's check a few examples to see if and when this claim is true. 3 to the 0 is 1 greater than or equal to 0, which is 0 cubed. 3 to the 1 is 3 greater than or equal to 1, which is 1 cubed. 3 squared is 9 greater than or equal to 8, which is 2 cubed. 3 cubed is equal to 27 greater than or equal to 27, which is 3 cubed. 3 to the 4 is 81 greater than or equal to 64, which is 4 cubed. 3 to the 5th is 243 greater than or equal to 125, which is 5 cubed. Okay. 3 to the negative 1 is 1 third greater than or equal to negative 1, which is negative 1 cubed. 3 to the 2.5 is approximately equal to 15.588 and so on, which is less than 15.625, which is 2.5 cubed. All the claims work except this last one, which is false. What's going on with 2.5? We could try graphing functions 3 to the x and x cubed to see what's up. Here they are. 3 to the x is above x cubed, except let's look a little farther along the curves. So between x is 2 and x is 3, they look awfully close together. Let's zero in on that area. So between 2 and 3, 3 to the x is below x cubed. We'll need to take this into account in the induction step, which comes next. Let n be an arbitrary natural number. Assume that p of n is true, that is, 3 to the n greater than or equal to n cubed. We want to show that p of n plus 1 follows, that is, 3 to the n plus 1 greater than or equal to n plus 1 cubed. Well, 3 to the n plus 1 is just 3 times 3 to the n, which is 3 to the n plus 3 to the n plus 3 to the n. That'll be greater than or equal to n cubed plus n cubed plus n cubed by our hypothesis. That's in turn greater than or equal to n cubed plus 3n squared plus 9n, as long as n is at least 3, so that n squared is at least 9. That's equal to n cubed plus 3n squared plus 3n plus 6n, just rewriting, which is greater than or equal to n cubed plus 3n squared plus 3n plus 1, as long as n is at least 1 sixth which is n plus 1 cubed by the binomial theorem. We've shown that if p of n is true, then 3 to the n plus 1 is greater than or equal to n plus 1 cubed as long as n is at least 3. So we have to fix the beginning of our claim a little bit. And now we've shown that for every natural number that's at least 3, p of n implies p of n plus 1. What about base cases? Well, p of 0, p of 1, and p of 2 are actually true, but they don't help in the inductive step. Remember that p of x is actually false when x is strictly in between 2.5 and 3. So there's some kind of gap in the logic that we need to take into account. Here's what I would suggest. Use induction to prove that for every natural number that is at least 3, p of n is true. Your base case will be p of 3. Separately, you can verify p of 0, p of 1, p of 2. Finally, a separate proof is not too hard to show that p of x is true whenever x is negative. 